Barkley and Nightingale to start on defense. It'll be John Wilson, Jared Wells on defense for the Devils. Off the face, off puck inside Ogdensburg territory. Wilson bangs it off the boards, doesn't clear the zone. Goes in behind the net. Wilson again will go, or Jared Wells rather, after. Meacham takes it away, dumps to Cameron. Cameron tries to center Hazel, but it's knocked away by Wilson. And Wells moves it ahead. Kept in, in the corner. Barkley, who pinched way in. The puck flipped around the boards. Now Meacham goes after with Cameron. He slides one at the net, but it hit the side of the net. And it's picked up in behind by Wilson. Hazel bottle, battles him. Hazel can't quite come up with it. It's flipped ahead to Ron Jacobs. He dumps it out to center ice. Here come the Devils, way ahead of the play, offsides, and we'll have a face-off. So the Raiders pushed it right in, right off the bat. Right in, right off the bat. Looks like uh, Coach Barlow went with his second unit, tried to check that Raiders' first unit, and on that first shift, didn't look good for the Blue Devils. Messina got it in the zone, and they kept it in there. That uh, line of uh, Hazel, Meacham, and Cameron doing an excellent job. Here comes Shaver's line out now for Ogdensburg. Shaver, Garvey, and Boyer. Off the face-off, it's going to be, of course, the... Uh, Messina line of Joey Ward, Clint Kerwin, and uh, Jeff Slack. Puck in the Messina zone. Drew Wonky after it. He'll flip it ahead on the wing. Goes by everybody. Picked up on the defense by Humel. Out to center ice. Headman pass in the zone. Here comes Boyer's shot. Save made by Zach Long. First shot of the game goes for Ogdensburg. Raiders move it out quickly. Here comes Kerwin from the red line to Slack. Slack goes wide, he gets bodied out of the play, puck goes in the corner. After Kerwin to Joey Ward. Ward trying to go back to Slack, it's knocked away. And Shaver picks it up for the Devils, moves it out. Here comes John Shaver in on the off wing. Wonky falls down, Shaver goes around him, centers in front, comes back to the blue line, poked away. Raiders clear it to the blue line and out to Jeffrey Slack and he'll move it down the ice. Flips it to the Ogdensburg zone, picked up there by Humel. Humel dumps to Messina line. Here's Wonky, flips it right back out, Kerwin to the Ogdensburg line, flip to the Messina line. Here comes Drew Wonky and he'll dump it deep. In the corner it goes. Back after it there is Corey Boyer. He rips it around the boards. Comes the blue line, kept in by Seacott as Messina makes a line change. Here comes Seacott with it. Center's in front. Hey, a farmer shot right on the rebound. Bouncing in front, they jam at it. And the puck tied up by goaltender Mike Chambers. Excellent opportunity. Shane Farmer got the shot right at Chambers, made the save, and somebody was there in front, couldn't put a stick on it. was Anthony DiAgostino coming from that left side. You mentioned Farmer took the shot 30 feet out. Uh, Chambers makes the save. Anthony DiAgostino jumped out of the left corner and had it. He and Chambers one-on-one -on -one as he went to trigger it, it hopped over his stick. Ooh. Good chance for Messina. Off the faceoff. Comes back to Buffum. He flips it in the corner. In behind the net it goes. Back after it there. The puck goes around the boards. Into the corner. Seacott after it. He ties it up along with the defenseman. And the puck squirts free. Seacott tries to go to Diagostino. He gets tied up by Wilson. And picking the puck up and moving it ahead is Chuck Irvine. Out to center ice. Right back in the zone it goes. Off a of Messina stick. Picked up again by Wells this time. He fires it from center ice. High, hits off the backboard, comes to Diagostino. He turns it around. Headman pass, just makes it across the blue line, dumped right back in. Bounces in on Zach, he'll glove it and leave it for Buffum, who rips it around the boards for Diagostino. He just poke checks it out to center ice. It trickles back in the Berg zone. In behind the net, back to pick it up is Johnny Wilson. Wilson, nice headman pass. Little bit too far, though. Barkley intercepts. Nightingale, back to Barkley. Here's Barkley looking to headman, Scotty Power. Here comes Power, dumps it right on. Save made by Mike Chambers. Puck picked up in behind the net by Humel. Stolen away by Rabadou. Rabadou to Power. Here's Scotty Power out of the corner. He'll go to Kellogg. Kellogg gets tied up. The puck ripped around the boards to the blue line. Barkley flips it right back down the middle. Bounces off a leg into the corner. Wilson picks it up there. Moves it. Doesn't get it out. Uh, Power centers in front. They try to pass it in front. And a good play there by the Ogdensburg Blue Devils to break it up. Now the puck comes back to the Messina line. Rabadou is there. Over to Nightingale. Nightingale to Barkley. Messina moves it ahead. Here's Adam Barkley with it, across his blue line, flips it ahead, goes off a stick into the corner. That was Rabadou's stick, racing back after it, Corey Boyer. Boyer in behind his net, pass intercepted. Rabadou steps by, or tried to step by a check, he's knocked down. The puck comes to Power. Power looks to center, hit the back of the net with it. It squirts outside of the net, and it's picked up by Corey Boyer. He clears the zone. Nightingale picks it up at the Messina blue line, dumps it back ahead to Power. Power shovels it in the zone again. Puck comes in behind the net as the Raiders make a line change. 
Back after it there, Corey Boyer in the corner, bangs it off the boards. Hazel steps in front of it, tries to dump it through. Meacham gets a stick on Cameron's shot, and it blocked. Comes back to Drew Wonky at the point. He tries it backhanded through. Comes back to the circle. It's Hazel flipping it in the corner. Picked up by Humel, flips it around behind the net. Goes off Meacham's skate, bounces to the side of the net. They battle for it there. Finally, it's clear to the blue line and bounces out to center ice. Wonky's there, flipping it back ahead for Hazel. Hazel dumps it in the zone again. Back in the corner it goes, racing in after Jared Wells. Wells and Meacham battle for it. Meacham tries to center, goes off a leg. In the corner, Meacham again. Centers it right in front. All, all that was there was a defenseman, Boyer, and he'll move it out. Boyer's head man pass into the zone. Scotty Boyer with it. As it knocked away, it bounces in front of the net. And it's in behind now. Drew Wonky flips the puck around to Cameron. Cameron just bangs it off the boards to the blue line, trying to move it out. It comes out to center ice, and down the ice it goes off a stick as icing is waved off. Still 0-0 in the first period. Tell you what, there haven't been too many whistles. Puck dumped in behind the net. Ogdensburg controlling. Poke checked away by Slack. Slack looks to center. Along the boards, goes back to the point. Buff him. Back to Slack in the corner. He looks to center and in front to Ward. He gets knocked off the puck. It comes free to the defenseman who rips it around the boards to the blue line and down the ice. That'll be an icing call against Ogdensburg. We played 5-15, and I don't think we've had more than a couple of whistles. 5-15, and uh, the play has been all Messina. They've had it deep in the Blue Devil end, but they just can't get that good shot. Had a couple opportunities. Uh, one we mentioned, Anthony D'Agostino. Another one uh, has uh, Robin or Scotty Power has found uh, Matt Rabideau out in front, but a great defensive play by number two, Jacob Umel, the young sophomore defenseman for the Blue Devils. But the Raiders really uh, up at the top of their game here in the early going. Ward takes a face off against Irvine. In the corner it goes and around the boards to the blue line, kept in at the point. Carroll's shot goes wide in behind the net. Joey Ward goes after it, flips it to Kerwin in the corner, a little bit too far, picked up by Irwin, back checking. Irvine flips it along the boards. Slack gets a piece of it, it bounces out the center ice, buff him with it. Buffum dumps it ahead to the blue line, bounces in the Messina zone. Jeremy Buffum again, off the boards, down the ice. That'll be icing on Messina this time. And the faceoff will move back in Raider territory. 9-18 left first period, no score on the Corky's collision scoreboard. Check and see if the Raiders uh, go. They went 1-2-3-4. We'll see if they come back 1-2-3 this time. Blue Devils going with three units. Uh, we haven't been able to tell yet if the Raiders going with three or four lines up front. Aaron Charlton against Shane Farmer. Off the draw, Raiders just bounce it out to center ice, dumped right back in again. Delay off sides, but Messina clears Nightingale. He hits Seacott at the wing. Here's Seacott trying to center it in front to Farmer. He couldn't quite catch the puck. Good opportunity, goes to Diagostino behind the net. He's bodied out of the play. Now it's Seacott in there. And I think the net got knocked off. That's the reason for the whistle. And we'll have a face-off, another good opportunity for this line. Oh, Anthony Diagostino uh, sent uh, Shane Farmer right down the middle, and uh, Shane just has to catch that pass. He's right at the top of the circle, right between the circles, about 35 feet out, and uh, just couldn't control the pass. But if he does, he's home free. Well, they're going to move the face-off outside the zone, ruling that Messina knocked the net off. I'm not sure that it was off. But anyway, the face-off moves outside. Charlton against Farmer. Devils win the faceoff and move it down the ice. Dumped in the zone, it's gonna go right on Zach. He leaves it for Barkley, takes it behind the net, flips it on the wing, Diagostino. Anthony breaks out of the zone. Here's Diagostino busting by the wing. Diagostino skates right down the middle, and Farmer again couldn't uh, catch the pass, but that time he was knocked down, or was it Seacott that got knocked down, but there's gonna be a penalty. It was Farmer got knocked down, number 22. I think Corey Boyer is gonna get the uh, finger for doing a hooking call, as you mentioned. Shane Farmer again trying to go down the middle. Anthony Diagostino down that right side, threw it out in that slot area, hoping that one of his teammates would pick it up, and uh, Farmer went to the net without the puck and Boyer knew that he was in trouble so he just hooked him and brought him down and uh, Raiders on a power play we mentioned not too successful uh, against the D Blue Devils two for 14 in the two previous games on a power play Meacham off the face off back to the point Nightingale Nightingale skates and skates it winds up shot right on rebound they bang at it in front and it goes wide Cameron to Kerwin Kerwin to Meacham at the 45 back to Nightingale Nightingale takes it right down the middle again, fakes the shot, goes to Meacham. Back to Nightingale at the point, back to Meacham at the 45. Meacham back to Nightingale, winds up his shot, deflected in front, and it's covered up by goaltender Chambers. He'll hold on for the faceoff. 
Blue Devils trying to prevent Benji Nightingale, who slides over from that right side to the top, right in the middle where you want him, and uh, the two Raiders down low collapse to the net, and uh, Nightingale and Meacham doing a good job when uh, the Blue Devils expanded the box. They, the Raiders took it inside, and then when they collapsed down, they brought it back outside, back to Ben Nightingale, and he's got that excellent shot. And, uh, off the faceoff, Raiders control it. This time it's Barkley at the left point. He takes it down the middle. He flips it over to Meacham, right side. He's going to skate it now and takes it toward the middle, then goes back to the point. Here's Nightingale. Back to Meacham. He's got room. Shoots it. Save made. Bouncing puck goes in the corner. Meacham goes in after it. Throws a check. He goes in there along with Charlton. The puck's still tied up. Meacham squirts it free. Meacham goes to Cameron. Michael skates to the circle. He's got room. Back to Meacham. In the slot. He shot. He fired it wide up into the screen. Ooh. And they'll move it outside again. I thought it deflected off somebody, but they'll move it outside the zone. Great scoring opportunity Whoa. on that power play by the big cat. Michael Cameron working his way out of the left corner to the right of Chambers and drew some traffic. And then he found Eric Meacham right in the middle of the... Right at the top of the circle, he had that wide open area right on the tape, and he fired a wrist shot, and it was just wide and up over the back of the glass, hit something, and deflected over the back of the glass. Raiders changing the power play now. They come out with Rabideau, D'Agostino, and Power. Still 30 seconds left in the power play. They dump it in the zone. Power's going to pick it up in the corner. Devils setting up in their box. Power comes to D'Agostino. Around the horn to Rabideau, back to the point, Barkley. Barkley skates it down the middle. He's got room, winds up the shot, deflected. Rebound, Rabideau, another save in front. The Devils control it and move it out to center ice. Oh, good chances, good saves by Ogdensburg. Here's Barkley in behind his own net. Eight seconds left in the power play. Barkley stick handles. He's building up the head of steam. Here comes Barkley across the blue line, skates it, shoots it, fired it wide. Puck goes in the corner, power after it. Penalty as he lapsed. Raiders had some great chances, but couldn't get the power play goal. Comes back to Nightingale at the point. He can't keep it in. Yeah, he did momentarily, but now it trickles out to center ice. And here comes Ogdensburg with a two-on-one. They skated in the zone. The puck bounces in behind. Barkley made a great play covering up for his partner. Outstanding play. And the puck goes in the corner. Barkley after it. That was a clear two-on-one for the Devils. And the Raiders managed to dodge a ball. Now they throw the puck to the blue line. Don't get it out of the zone. It trickles right in front. And Zach's going to clear it into the corner. Getting a little bit sloppy now. Here comes Nightingale with it. He bangs it off the boards. Takes a funny bounce. The Raiders will throw it out of the zone. Barkley tried to. He lost his stick, so I guess that's a good play. Smart play, you bet. But he's going to, oh no, he's not going to call him up. Going to give him a penalty for delay of the game. Ooh. Of his rink, or did he just throw it outside the line? He threw it outside the zone. Oh, oh boy. Adam Barkley lost his stick, and, uh, you know, it was one of those borderline of whether he put his hand around or hit it with his hand. You can knock it ahead with your hand. You're not supposed to pick it up and throw it, but Mike St. Louis is going to call a delay of the game against Messina. Another one of those chicken, nickel, and dime calls in a sectional game. Ugh. Off the faceoff, Raiders clear it out to center ice. Puck races back in the zone. After it, there is Charlton, and he skates Spanky Seacott and Hazel out there looking to try to kill this penalty. We've got Travis Durant and Drew Wonky at the points for Messina. Hazel putting some pressure on in the zone. The Devils will move it out. Here comes Charlton with it. Charlton takes it across. Sets up in the corner. Wonky ties him up, and the puck squirts free. Drew picks it up, rips it around the boards, but it's going to be kept in at the point by Wilson. Wilson goes back to the blue line, and he took it out of the zone, apparently. Yeah, he did, and came back in, and offsides will be the call. Good job. Off the faceoff, Farmer wins the draw, battles for it, and pokes it out to the blue line. Dumped right back in the zone by the Devils. Wonky picks up the loose puck. Rips it around for D'Agostino. Anthony can't quite get to it. Puck goes back in the corner. Charlton after it. Here's Charlton flipping along the boards, but D'Agostino picks it up and just battles it out to center ice. Good play there by Wonky first and D'Agostino second. Devils move it back out to center ice. Here comes Ogdensburg's Beldock in the zone. He gets bodied by Wonky. Oh, took him into the boards. Nice check. Wonky bangs the puck and is kept in at the point. Charlton shot right on. Same main rebound bounces in front. They got another shot. Score! 
going to be number 16, Greg Garvey, on the power play with 10 seconds left in the power play. The initial shot uh, came from the left side, and Zach uh, made the save, but he gave up a big rebound, and it bounced right by one Raider defenseman, and number 16, Greg Garvey, picked it up, and from a, not a tough angle, he was actually right at the dot, uh, probably a few feet inside the dot, so I'm going to say about uh, 33 feet, and he fired one not too hard, but it found the far post. Uh, it was about a foot off the ground, and uh, just found its way inside the far post. Boy, that was a tough break, too. Power play goal by Ogdensburg. Raiders trying to clear the zone. Hazel with it. Top of the circle. He looks up ice and just flips it out to center ice. Hazel gets tied up along right in front of the blue line. Cameron picks it up and pokes it in the zone. Back after it there is Jacob Humel in behind the net. His pass knocked down, but it bounces to the blue line. Carroll keeps it in to Cameron. Here's Cameron along the boards. He gets tied up. A battle for the puck. It comes free. It's picked up by Jacobs. He moves it out center ice. Carroll dumps it back in. Raiders going to have to clear the zone. Bouncing puck. Back out. Hazel throws a check, but it bounces into the zone. Here's Charlton trying to go by the Messina defenseman. Doesn't make it. Goes in the corner. Flips it in front. They got a man with a weak shot. Bouncing puck in front. Cleared into the corner. Picked up by Carroll. He'll golf it behind the net. And it bounces to Charlton in front. The shot save and a nice one by Hey, they threw it away again. It bounces in front. Here come the Devils as they put some pressure on. Now, finally, the Raiders move it down the ice. That'll be icing against Messina. But they were throwing the puck around, and, they, and, and uh, the Raiders really back on their heels right now. Off the faceoff. Barkley with it. Rips it around the boards. Doesn't go very far. Kept in there by David Beldock. But the Raiders move it to the blue line. Not out of the zone again. They got a man in front shot. Oh, big save. A toe save. Zach got that toe just in front of it, or it would be two to nothing. Puck in behind. Here's Jeffrey Slack with it. He gets knocked down. Nightingale comes up with it. Bangs it ahead to Kerwin. Here comes Kerwin trying to catch up with it. He does. He gets hauled down. The puck comes to Ward. Ward looks. Centers it right in front. Here's Slack. Backhand shot. Doesn't get through. Puck cleared. Bounces in the circle. End of the blue line and down the ice. And that'll be icing unless it goes on net. And it is going to go on net. Zach's going to cover up and hold on for the two to the game. The one violation so much more severe than the other, yet they call the minor violation and not the major one. Face off in the zone, Messina territory. Devils lead it one to nothing on the Corky scoreboard. Around the boards to Diagostino. Anthony gets tied up, moves it ahead to Shane Farmer. Here comes Farmer, trying to flip it ahead. It went off a couple of sticks and icing waved off. Puck picked up by Wilson. He clears it around the boards. Diagostino steps in front, has it knocked away. Farmer throws a check. The puck squirts free, but it's going to poke out the center ice. Picked up there and dumped right back in by Travis Durant. In behind the net. Diagostino after it. Wilson gets there first, flips it ahead, down the ice again. This time it's got to be an icing call against the Devils. And the faceoff will move back inside Ogdensburg territory. 1-0 Devils lead and a power play goal. There's 2.51 left in the first period on the Corky's Collision scoreboard. First period nemesis for the Raiders, having trouble all year long. In fact, the opposition has outscored Messina 29-22 in the first period, and the Devils have outscored Messina through two and almost uh, one-third period. So two games and one more period. Uh, let's see, that's about uh, four to one. Off the faceoff. Puck comes to Rabadou, trying to move it through the middle. Power got a piece of it, knocked away. And back comes Mike McCarthy. McCarthy and Wonky go together. Wonky takes him out of the play. Durant picks it up, flips it ahead. Here comes Rabadou to Kellogg, back across the blue line. Power after, can't come up with it. Bounces out the center ice. Wonky dumps it right back in the zone. Raiders get on side, but it's picked up there by Corey Boyer. Boyer comes out from behind his net, flips on the wing to the blue line, out to center ice. Here comes the puck trickling back in the Messina zone. Wonky with it off the glass. Back out to center ice. Back in the zone. Delay off sides. Raiders clear it anyway. Here's Kellogg just shoveling it right on. And the save is made by Chambers. And he'll hold on for the faceoff. Raiders uh, broke away. Odd man rush uh, just a second ago when the Blue Devils got uh, three men trapped down low. Good defensive play. Good breakout pass by the Raider defense. Head man to puck. Raiders break away three on two. But uh, the guy with the puck, in the uh, he's on the left side. He's got two guys up in front of him. He doesn't head man that puck. And so they got a crisscross, crisscross. And they get all, uh, you know, entangled along that blue line. Head man that puck. Meacham with a face off. Goes in behind the net. Throws the check. The puck cleared by the Devils, though, as they move it ahead. And out to center ice, Beldock. He's got a man breaking, and in the zone it goes right in front of the shot, right across the goal mouth. Oh, boy, good chance for Ogdensburg there as the Messina defenseman just got beat. Puck comes to Hazel, who moves it ahead. There's going to be a penalty in Ogdensburg. 
Hooking call in the offensive zone by David Beldock. So the Raiders go back on the power play here. Nice play by the Devils. As you mentioned, Beldock and Irving teaming up. It was a two-on-two -two situation. Irving in the middle, Beldock going down the right side. And uh, just over the red line, Beldock turns on the Jets. Irving throws a puck between the two Raider defensemen. Beldock goes right around him on the outside, picks it up and goes right in and just slides one wide of that far side. But the Raiders on the power play look very good on the last one. Let's see if they can pick it up and uh, got a minute 40 seven left in the period. Meacham off the face off with a puck. He drops it, has it poked away, but Cameron comes up with it. He'll dump it in the zone. Puck goes bouncing in behind in the corner. Picked up there by the Augensburg defenseman Wells. He gets tied up. Meacham comes in, takes the puck away. Good job, back to the point. Nightingale cranks it up, fired it wide. Bouncing puck goes to the blue line and down the ice by the Devils. You can shoot at 100 miles an hour, Jerry, but you gotta hit that net. That's right. Here comes the puck in front. The uh, Devils almost stole it away. Raiders very lackadaisical in their own end. And Zach's lost his stick apparently, but the Raiders clear it out of there anyway, and they trickle it in the zone. Puck goes in the corner to Cameron. Cameron goes to Meacham. Meacham skates to the 45, back to the point. Nightingale, Nightingale moves it, moves it, moves it. He gets the shot off. Score! And I don't know if Cameron deflected it on the way through, but the Raiders have tied it on the power play. I'm not sure if that hit anything or not, but very innocent looking little play. And I think Ben Nightingale might get the goal. Again, the Raiders on the overload and they shift it into the umbrella. Nightingale on the right point. Meacham throws it back to him. Benji slips to the middle. And then it just seemed the, the, the Augensburg defense collapsed. They all back down in and he walked right down the middle looking for somebody to go to the net. No one was going to the net, so he just fired a wrist shot. And I think it just fooled Chambers. We'll see who gets the goal. I think it's going to be Nightingale. Cameron was in front. Here come the Devils flipping it in the Messina zone. Wonky picks it up, trying to shovel it out, but it's knocked away. They got a man in front. If they get it to him, they don't. Oh boy, I'll tell you, hard check thrown behind the net. But Wonky has the puck. Clips it ahead. Kerwin. Kerwin gets knocked down. Raiders finally move it to the blue line, not out, poking it ahead, finally get it out, comes to Slack. Slack trying to dump it through, a little bit too far for Ward, and the puck comes back to the blue line. Durant shovels it right back in again, in behind that. We're down to 20 seconds left in the first period. Devils control, Kerwin tries to throw a check, the Blue Devil moved out of the way, and here comes Ogdensburg clearing the zone, they didn't quite clear the zone, Ward steps in front of the pass, flips it back in the corner, picked up there by Humel. Umel dumps it over on the other side. Five seconds left. Comes along the blue line. Ward throws a check. The puck stays in, bounces into the corner as the buzzer sounds. So the Raiders get a late power play to tie it up, and we're all tied at one after one period of play. Playoff hockey on WMSA brought to you by Seaway Tire, located on East Orvis Street in Messina. If you have need of uh, anything for your automobile, tires, or service, be sure to stop in at Seaway Tire. Seacom Federal Credit Union, Stern Street, and Andrew Street in Messina. Messina Building Supplies, 70 Water Street, downtown Messina. Homestead Dairies, West Hatfield, and the corner of North Main and Maple in Messina. Also by Messina Optics, 55 Main Street, downtown Messina. By Reynolds Metals, St. Lawrence Reduction Plant. Working together, their quality shines through. By the many good opportunities in that first period. Tonight's broadcast of Playoff Hockey on WMSA brought to you by Nationwide Insurance, the White Adams Agency at 229 East Orvis Street in Messina. Also Messina Savings and Loan, 255 Main Street, Messina. Coca-Cola, the sponsors of the Power Flow Power Goal Contest. We had a winner. Messina scored a power play goal, Teresa Shear of Messina wins a case of power aid. She can stop out or send the rev out anytime uh, during regular business hours to pick it up. Also Seaway Orthopedics, Outer Andrew Street in Messina, home of Seaway Fitness Center, North Country Savings Bank, 22 Phillips Street in Messina, Reynolds Metals, St. Lawrence Reduction Plant, Messina Optics, 55 Main Street, downtown Messina, Homestead Dairies, West Hatfield, and the corner of North Main and Maple in Messina, Messina Building Supplies, 70 Water Street, downtown, the members of SECOM, Federal Credit Union, Stern Street and Andrew Street in Messina, also in Malone and Potsdam, and Seaway Tire, located on East Orvis Street in Messina. Give Dan or Kevin a call at Seaway Tire. Well, the Raiders clustered around uh, their goal. Zach out there uh, loosening up right now. Zach Long, the goaltender, had uh, several good saves in that first period. I remember one especially we saw real well from up here. He stuck the toe out 
and saved the goal for sure. And it uh, came at the time again. It, we've, you've heard us say many times it's not how many you make it's when you make them at the right time and that was after uh, the Devils had uh, gone ahead one nothing were storming around and that was a big save at the right time getting back to that uh, Blue Devil defense Jerry we said besides getting in and get, getting the puck down low and getting and hammering the defense and creating opportunities you're wearing them down and this is a young defense as I look uh, down you got uh, John Wilson uh, as a senior he's the only senior you got uh, Jacob Umel is a sophomore Wells Jared Wells he's a sophomore he's a junior Boyer's a sophomore Thornhill's a sophomore and Amos a sophomore. Those his six starting defensemen. So, you know, you get in on top of them. They have a lot of game experience uh, and, uh, you know, create that pressure, create turnovers. And that's uh, what you want to do. And that's what they did in that first period. Well, we're ready to start the second period. We've got Hazel out there to take the face off against Charlton. So they're going to start just the way they did in the first period. And off the draw, the puck comes to Barkley. He skates it across the red line, dumps it in the zone. In behind the net, in after it there is Jared Wells. Meacham takes him into the board, steals the puck. Here's Meacham, backhand in front, save made. Goes in the net! Meacham, I think Cameron came and poked it in. I think Michael Cameron's gonna get it, I really do. Meacham coming out from behind the net. The right corner took the initial shot and Chambers make the save, but I think uh, Mike Cameron is going to uh, Get the goal. I think he poked in the rebound. It was a scramble in front. We'll wait and see in the announcement. It's going to come early at 12 seconds into the period, and the Raiders go ahead 2 1. Big goal for Mike Cameron. Yep. It is Michael Cameron. That's going to be his 13th goal of the year. Lucky 13. The Raiders up 2 1 here in the early going of the second period. We're underway, and uh, the Raiders dumped the puck down in the Blue Devil zone. So Cameron gets close. Cameron steals it in front, but he couldn't quite get to it before it trickled on Chambers, and Chambers will hold on for the faceoff. So the Raiders get the early one here in the second period at the 12-second mark and uh, take the lead 2-1. to one. That all started with a check behind the net by Meacham. By Meacham, and I'll tell you, uh, Cameron almost got another one just a second ago as he stole it off of uh, number two Humel's stick and just lost it at the last second as he would have walked right in on top of of goaltender Chambers. Meacham takes the face off, wins it to Cameron. Cameron shoots it right on, right across the goal mouth. Hazel after it in the corner. Here's Hazel flipping it behind the net for Cameron. Cameron trying to go to Meacham in the corner. It's intercepted, bounces to the blue line. Barkley keeps it in. Slides it in front, deflected just wide by Cameron again. Michael behind the net, centers it. Back to the blue line it goes. Here's Barkley, turns it around, fired it just wide again. And the puck whips into the corner. Bounces to the blue line. Meacham out there to flip it back in the corner and in behind the net. After it there is Humel, and Humel will start out on the right side. Moves it ahead, stolen by Cameron. Cameron flips to an open wing. Hazel's not going to catch it. The Devils move it out to center ice. Bounces by the Messina blue line. Kerwin gets a piece of it. His pass knocked down, puck in the zone. Nightingale comes over, picks up the man, but a shaver with a puck in behind the net. Here's Shaver, skating away from the check. Now Slack comes in to help out and just moves it ahead to Meacham, who's still out there. Slack trying to flip it ahead. It's blocked, comes back to the Messina line. Nightingale can't come up with it. Here comes Ogdensburg, three on one. They get the shot off, save made, rebound. Cleared by Nightingale out to center ice. And the puck picked up there by the Blue Devils. Puck bounces out to center ice. Slack picks it up there. Leaves it for Barkley, who dumps it deep in Ogdensburg territory. Raiders have taken a two to one lead here early in the second period. Puck around the boards to the blue line, kept in. Here's Travis Durant's shot, didn't get much on it. And the save is made by goaltender Mike Chambers. Couple of good scoring opportunities, one that really came close. Uh, the Raiders storming that uh, line of Hazel, Meacham, and Cameron. It came back to the point, Adam Barkley took a shot. In front, all alone by himself, Michael Cameron. He didn't realize he was the only guy around there. He just tried to redirect it. If he would have stopped and turned around and taken his time, he could have picked any spot he wanted. He made a nice tip, but Chambers made the save. And another play, uh, if, uh, if Jeffrey Slack could have found Clint Kerwin with a quick pass, Kerwin was in all alone from the blue line. He just couldn't get the puck to him. Off the faceoff, Kerwin in behind. Slack in front, shot save made by Chambers. That puck just took a funny bounce right in front of the net. Here's Wonky, lost it off the end of his stick. Here's a chance for Ogdensburg, short side shot, and the save made. And the net gets knocked off as Zach came crashing over. 
And we're going to have a face-off inside Messina territory. Uh, who is the defenseman coming back? Wonky made a great play, whoever it was. I'll tell you, it, uh, well, he saved, his, uh, he saved his partner there because a turnover right at the blue line, and the Blue Devils jumped on it right down, uh, I think that was number nine, who... Uh, yep, Jordan Spears. Spears, and uh, he flipped the puck out in front on a backhander, and the other devil was going to the net, and he was pulled down by Wonky. Good play by Wonky. Here's a shot blocked. Bounces in the circle, picked up by Joey Ward. He'll move it ahead and bangs it just across the blue line out to center ice. Kerwin after it there, dumps it to the Ogdensburg line. Wilson, or Wells rather, bangs it ahead into the Messina zone. Back after it, Slack. Jeffrey, just flip pass ahead to Ward, knocked away. He'll follow it though. Here's Ward poking it ahead. And it's out by the blue line. Delay offsides on Messina. Raiders will have to clear the zone, but the puck clears the zone anyway, all the way down the ice into the Messina zone. Back after it is Travis Durant. Durant bangs it off the boards, ahead to Slack. Slack can't clear the zone. Durant has to come up, has it poke checked by him, back in the corner. Here's Slack with it, takes a whack at it. Took a bounce off the official right to Ward. He's gonna ice the puck as the Raiders running around a little bit in their own end and the whistle blows, they want a line change. That Raider go-ahead goal at the 12 second mark of the second period, his 13th of the goal, 13th of the year, Michael Cameron with assist going to Eric Meacham. And uh, that started with a good check and uh, Meacham walked out from behind, took the shot, pucks in the crease and Michael Cameron bats it home. Charlton out there to face off against Shane Farmer in the Messina zone, right side off the draw. Here's a shot. Zach makes the save and it dropped in behind him, just missed the net. Back to the blue line and down the ice it goes. And that was flipped by OFA, so no icing. Zach made the save, it got by him, but just Ooh. missed by an inch. Buck in the Ogdensburg zone, they move it to the blue line, not out of the zone yet, now they dump it ahead. Here's Barkley with it, takes it right back in. Makes the shift, here's Barkley, feeds it in front. The Agostino short side shot, save made just wide. Good opportunity for the Raiders, back to Farmer, who's at the point, flips it in front, the Agostino again. This time he flipped it wide on the backhand, maybe he should have let that go through. Back in the corner, it goes to Farmer. Short side, sharp angle shot, save made again by Chambers. Puck in the corner, oh, hard check thrown by Spanky, but he couldn't come up with the puck. Devils control, they dump it right back in the corner again. After it, Diagostino in front, Seacott. Seacott can't get a stick on it. Farmer tries to come up with it, he can't. The Devils' Charlton moves it out to the Messina line. Here comes Ogdensburg in the zone. Centering pass right in front, and they misfired on it. Otherwise, that would have been a goal. Charlton in the corner, he's got a man in front, it bounces into the slot, and the Raiders' Barkley picks it up. Barkley, head man, D'Agostino, busts by the defense, he stops, takes it to Barkley, he pokes it right on, the save made, and the puck sits behind the net. Picked up there by John Wilson. Wilson circles in his own zone, in the corner, being bothered there by Robidoux, as the Raiders in the middle of a line change. The puck along the boards, kept in power for checking. Picked up there by Ronnie Jacobs, flips it around the boards. Here's Sean Kellogg. Kellogg moves it back to the point. Wonky winds up, shot deflected right in front. Shot, save made. Oh, great opportunity. Bounces to the blue line, bounces into the circle. I don't know how Chambers kept that one out on Sean Kellogg. Here's Power with it, flips it behind the net for Kellogg. Kellogg circles out of the corner, goes back to the point. Wonky, flip shot, right on, save made, comes to Robidoux. Here's Robidoux in the corner, back to the point. Wonky again, he'll flip it around the boards. It'll come behind the net, Power. Power can't come up with it. Bouncing puck to the blue line, kept in at the point. Here's Power, winds up, his shot goes wide. Robidoux trying to dig it out of the corner. Takes it behind the net, he's bodied off the play. Kellogg in there, can't come up with it. Coming up with it instead is Wilson, and he is a senior, he makes a smart play, tying it up. Oh, I tell you, the Raiders could have had about uh, four up to this point. Uh, the line of Farmer, Sika, and Diagostino, I counted four excellent opportunities. Uh, Anthony Diagostino had two of them, somehow Chambers kept it out. And then just a second ago, as you call, Wonky takes a shot through traffic. Chambers makes a save. Kellogg picks up the puck. He's got Chambers down. He comes across the crease. Fires going top shelf and somehow Chambers gets the arm up and blocks it. Here's a shot by Hazel right off the face off. Puck in the corner. Meacham goes to Cameron behind the net. Cameron flips it around on the other side. Back after it there is Jacob Humel. Hazel takes him to the corner but the puck trickles out to center ice. Flipped right back ahead of the blue line. Meacham after it there has it poked away and they battle for it right in front of the benches. And the puck's still along the boards there. Meacham, Meacham, trying to take it across, dumped right back out again. And it comes to Durant. He tries to keep it out of the zone and does. Puck bouncing around, finally it's dumped in the Messina zone. Around the boards it goes. Wonky throws a check. The puck bounces free in behind. Wonky goes to pick it up again. He battles for it with Shaver. The puck comes free to the blue line. Cameron with it, picks up the loose puck. Here's Cameron. 
He head man Meacham. Meacham busts by the defense, but I think he was a little bit ahead of the play. Offsides. We played uh, just a little over, a little shy of six minutes. Uh, 5:53. Raiders up 2-1. Nightingale, Benji Nightingale, and That's Michael Cameron okay. uh, getting the goals for the Raiders. Uh, but uh, Messina looking awfully good. Uh, this is the best that they've looked against the Blue Devils in the two previous. Uh, the two previous games, they've certainly come to play here tonight. Well, it's going to be matching minors. That's the reason for the whistle behind the play is Hazel got mixed up with, uh, let's see, who is that? 16, Garvey? Okay, Greg Garvey, and they called matching minors. That's why they blew the play dead. And now Raiders will make a change. It'll be four on four, plus the goaltenders here. Slack comes out along with Kerwin. Off the face off, puck to the blue line, and out to center ice. Here come the Devils, busting across the blue line. They've got a man in front, the shot. Nice save by Zach. Big, huge save as the puck goes side of the net. Raiders throw it away again in front. It bounces to the blue line and comes to Barkley. He doesn't clear the zone. And out to center ice. Here comes Slack. He's going to have a partial break. Here comes Slack in on the right side. Quick shot. Fired it. Oh, he didn't miss by much. Puck comes around the boards, and we got a whistle. Behind the play, a slashing call against Messina. No? Yes? No, it's against Ogdensburg. It's against I Ogdensburg. It. I think it's going to be number 10, I do believe. We'll wait and see. That may be David Beldock that gets the gate. But Jeffrey Slack, oh, boy. Uh, I tell you, it was Helter Skelter. Ogdensburg applying pressure. The Raiders turned it over again at the blue line, and Zach made a big save, and the puck is bouncing in front. It's knocked. It's here, there. Finally, the Raiders clear the zone. Just knock it out, and two, the Augensburg player and the Messina player ran into each other, left the puck. Slack picks it up, going down that left side, but just as he gets a shot off, he's being harassed by the now, Blue Devil defenseman and forced him to shoot it wide. Somebody got back in a hurry. Off the faceoff. Raiders on the power play as the puck goes up into the wall. We'll do it again. We've got 8.35 left in the second period. 2-1 Messina leads on the Bob Post State Farm Insurance scoreboard. I tell you, they had Lady Luck riding on their shoulder. It wouldn't have been 2-1 the way they got a little sloppy in their own mm -hmm. end. Uh, Zach bailed him out once, and the puck took a couple of favorable bounces the other two occasions. Face off left side, off the draw. Puck cleared. No. Benji keeps it in. Flips it. Gets it back again. Poke check by him. Down the ice. I don't know how he kept that first one in. The second one, though, uh, he couldn't do it. Good hand-eye coordination. I guess so. Here comes Nightingale. He's going to carry it. Dumps it in the Ogdensburg zone. And he didn't put enough on it. His goaltender will play it, but it goes into the corner. Meacham to Cameron. Cameron skates from behind the net. Right in front, the shot. Oh, great save on Barkley. Here's Nightingale. Reefs it right in. Deflected just over the net. Oh, boy. Meacham after it. Here's Meacham coming out of the corner. Meacham. Turns around, takes it out by the blue line, winds up, and his shot is blocked. He waited too long, perhaps. He goes after it himself in the corner. Goes back to Nightingale at the point. Nightingale skates it, skates it, goes to Meacham. Meacham centers it right in front. Barkley, score! And the Raiders go ahead 3-1 to one on the power play. Adam Barkley dropping down from the left side on that power play has the Raiders worked it to perfection. Meacham to Nightingale, Nightingale down into the middle, dropped it down to Meacham who walked in from the left side, took the shot. Adam Barkley dropped down from his left defensive point, picked up the rebound and from a tough angle, I'll tell you, he roofed it right upstairs, just in under the crossbar and inside the goal post. Beautiful goal, Adam Barkley, and that's gonna be Adam's fourth of the year and the Raiders go up 3-1. I'll tell you, you've got to have a beautiful goal to beat this kid. He's playing oh, he well. Made a, what a save he made on Barkley just before that. Off the faceoff. Puck back in the zone. We're still four on four. Now the penalties have elapsed. And we're even Steven. Drew Wonky trying to center. It bounces all the way back to the blue line and out to center ice. Here comes Greg Garvey with it. In on the off wing. Winds up. And his shot is blocked. Bounces into the circle. Another shot. Fired just wide. Puck in the corner. Garvey again. He'll dump it in behind the net for Shaver. Shaver centers it, but it's going to come to Seacott. He moves it ahead, out to center ice. The Agostino, he lost his edge and couldn't catch up with it. Back after it there is Jacob Humel for the Devils. Dumps it all the way back to the Messina line. Wonky after it, has it stolen away. Shaver shot! Save, rebound! Goes wide. I think Zach had a piece of it. Puck into the corner. Great chance and a great save as I got it. Oh, puck goes up off the ice. And we'll have a face-off in the Messina zone. Just a great save by Zach on a great play by Shaver. I tell you, that's we talk about big saves at the right time. The Raiders are storming off. Chambers has made 
you more spectacular saves, but this one was just as big because Raiders up 3-1. No one let the Berg score here. Turn turnover, a great play, as you said, by Shabry. Walks right in, but Zach Long stones him. Again, made the shooter make the first move. That third Raider goal, Adam Barkley, 720 mark with Meacham and Nightingale on the assist. Off the faceoff. Raiders move it ahead on the defense. Chaz Hearn ahead, it goes to Kellogg. Kellogg can't quite hold on to it. Back out to center ice. Bouncing puck comes along the boards. And it's picked up by the Devils. They move it in the Messina zone. Poke checked away by Hearn, right back out to center ice. Scotty Power with it. Bounce pass along the boards to Kellogg, knocked away. Comes back to Carroll at the Messina line. He skates ahead across the red line, dumps it in Ogdensburg territory. Wells picks it up, flips it around the boards. Carroll throws a check, but the puck bounces free and out to center ice. Here's a chance for the Devils. Shot is fired way wide. Comes back to the blue line, kept in at the point. Chaz Hearn picks it up. He flips it ahead on the wing. They didn't move it out of the zone. Here's a chance in front. Shot saves Zach again. Puck goes in the corner. Rabadou. Rabadou moves it behind the net. He'll flip it around on the other side. Kellogg, can he come up with it? No. Kept in at the point. And the shot is kind of deflected into the corner. Comes to Hearn again. Hearn just golfs it to the blue line. Power pokes it out to center ice. Here's Kellogg. Kellogg just gets tied up along the blue line. Puck trickles in the zone. Here's Hearn at the point. He just tries to slide it through. Knocked away. Devils move it back the other way. Head man pass into the zone. Nice shift there as they move it right in front. The shot, save. Another save by Zach. They try to wrap it around. Puck hits side of the net. Zach was looking for that one, and it was back around behind the net. Here are the Devils. Shot right on. Save made by Zach again. Devils putting some pressure on, and whistle. the puck comes out to center ice. Here comes Rabadou with it. Takes it across. Feeds for Kellogg. Kellogg skates in behind the net. Tries to get it in front. Got the shot on somehow, but Chambers was there and made the save. Raiders lead it. Puck comes back to the blue line. Slack with it. Slack has it knocked away. Bounces into the corner. Here's Joey Ward. Joey dumps it right on. Rebound. Rebound again. Shot. Oh, two huge saves by Chambers. And the puck bounces out to center ice. Nightingale golfs it right back in the zone. Raiders lead 3-1 to one here on the uh, Bob Post State Farm Insurance scoreboard. Puck it. Oh, boy. They're going to call a penalty on Kerwin. Oh, and he gets a penalty in the offensive zone, but that's that's a questionable call. He's uh, kicking his skate, uh, referee Mel Tamalti, and I'll tell you, Clint Kerwin, I can't comment on this one because I didn't see it. Look down at my score sheet for a second, but he's going to call him tripping, I guess. Uh, you'll have to you'll have to describe that one, Jerry, but the, the Raiders bench uh, just in shock on that one, but... I, I can't describe it because there wasn't a penalty. Well, uh, I think they feel the same way. I tell you, Chambers just robbed uh, Joe Ward, and right after that, uh, Clint Kerwin, one after the other. Uh, We've seen a lot of offense in this game, haven't we? Oh, boy. Off the faceoff, Raiders trying to kill a penalty again. Barkley just flips it to an open wing. Picked up there by the Devils. They dump in the Messina zone, Nightingale after it. And somebody knocked it down with a high stick, apparently Messina, so they'll face it off in the Messina zone. Yeah, it was Ben Nightingale uh, again. Uh, those youngsters have that ability. You know, you do that in practice, they can't seem to do it. But comes in the game, they can pick that thing. It's like a... Off the faceoff, Devils win it. Get the puck across the middle. Here's a turnaround shot deflected. Oh, man. That deflected off Nightingale's stick in the net. And the Devils pick up their second power play goal. Boy, oh, boy, that's a tough one. Uh, shot was going to be wide, a good uh, six feet wide of the net. And uh, that's something that defensemen, you don't want to touch that puck when uh, and going across that crease area, unless you're sure that, uh, you know, you can stop it. And that time, the Raider defenseman just redirected it right by goaltender Zach Long. And that will go as a power play goal. I tell you, we've had, I think that's the fourth power play goal we've had, two by Messina and two by Augsburg. That's a real uh, kick in the guts. Uh, 432 left in the period. The Raiders really have to be careful this next minute because uh, that'll inspire, inspire Ogdensburg. Off the faceoff, Hazel just gets hauled down, no call. Now the puck back in the Messina zone. Zach leaves it in behind for Drew Wonky. He rips it around the boards. It'll come to, not didn't quite get to Cam, Cameron. Now Cameron's got it, flips it ahead for the big Meach. Here's Meacham, trying to shift his way through. Here's Meacham, battles his way through, gets knocked down. Cameron tries to pick up the puck, it's knocked away. And back comes Ogdensburg. Into the zone, it's Shaver. Shaver trying to flip it through the middle. The puck comes in behind the net. And we got a delay penalty, apparently, on mm. Messina. Yeah, it's on Messina. It's on Meacham. 
Meacham, well, that's a frustration call. Sure, it's a frustration call. He got hauled down at the other end, uh, and he feels frustrated. But again, you can't let that happen. You can't put yourself ahead of the team, and uh, the Big 22 has done that on several occasions this year. You just can't do it. Frustration call coming back the other way. We'll see what it is, but slash or whatever. But he felt he was hauled down, and he was hauled down. No call. The play comes back the other way, and uh, they get him on a, we'll see what the call is, probably a slash. How things turn around, and oh that uh, that strange goal, that Augensburg goal that uh, was going to go definitely wide of the net. Uh, here's the call on uh, Meacham's penalty. Slashing yeah, the call. a slashing call, and uh, could have scripted that one because Eric's had that uh, similar call a half a dozen times this year. Again, in frustration when you feel that they missed the call, you just can't do that. You cannot do it. You, you've got to take your frustrations out at the officials or whatever by putting the puck in the, in the opposition's goal. And so the Ra Raiders trying to kill another one here. Wonky with a puck in his own end. Bangs it ahead. Seacott, who moves it out to center ice. Here come the Raiders into the zone. Puck bouncing free in front. And finally, it's picked up there, and the Devils move it in behind. Hazel almost stole it away that time. And the Devils go rink wide and out to center ice. Here comes Johnny Wilson with it. Wilson winds up, fakes the shot, goes in the corner, takes it behind the net. Wilson and Wonky spar there. Wonky takes him out of the play, moves the puck along the boards, bangs it ahead to the blue line, and out to center ice. Great play by Drew Wonky that time. And we'll have a whistle and a faceoff outside the zone as it came back in on the offside. That second Augsburg goal coming at the 10-28 mark is second of the game and is 14th of the year. Greg Garvey unassisted. Again, the shot taken from uh, probably 50 feet out on that right side. Garvey was just trying to scoop it uh, towards the net and uh, going well wide, but uh, hit a Raider defenseman stick and deflected by goaltender Zach Long. 3-2, to two, Messina leading with 3.21 left in the second period. On the Bob Post State Farm Insurance scoreboard, 50 seconds left in the Yogginsburg power play. Puck in behind the net, Nightingale after it. He gets tied up along the boards. The puck squirts free to Aaron Charlton. Charlton trying to move it out in front. Nightingale gets upended, gets up with the puck, flips it in the corner, but is picked up there by Beldock. Back to the point to Wilson, back to Beldock. Back to Wilson, back to Beldock, back to Wilson. He'll skate in the middle, gets the shot off, and it's up into the wall, or actually into the glass, off the stick of Zach. It might have been high anyway. Puck in the corner, Nightingale throws the check. The puck comes free in behind for Garvey, trying to wrap it around. And it's Barkley with it, and he flips it, and that's up off the ice surface, and we'll have a face-off. Excellent job by Adam Barkley being strong in his stick as number 16, who's a threat out there all the time, Garvey coming around the net, and had, uh, was leaning in into the Raider defenseman, but Adam Barkley being strong, strong in his feet, strong in his stick, wouldn't let Garvey get inside of him. Finally knocked him down, took the puck, and backhanded it down the ice. Excellent defensive move by Adam Barkley. Off the face-off, puck goes in the corner. Garvey after it with Barkley. He hauls Barkley down. Oh, man. I mean, that's a penalty, and they have to call that one. He's got to call that one. That happened <laughs> oh, six man. inches in front of him. He certainly had to. And uh, Garvey uh, put a stranglehold on Barkley, upended him right in the corner, and uh, the referee Mike St. Louis made the call, and that's going to negate the Raider or the Blue Devil power play. In fact, in the next, after 10 seconds, Messina will have a minute and 20-second power play. So the faceoff will move outside the zone. It'll be four on four for 10 seconds, and then the Raiders go up on the power play. 2.36 left in the second period. 3-2, Messina leading on the Bapo State Farm Insurance scoreboard. Coach Barlow will get a couple more gray hairs. I'll tell you, down by one on the power play. In the offensive end, you take a holding call. Ooh. And you're two for two on the power and play. Two, oh, boy. Off the faceoff, Ben Nightingale with a puck in his own end. He'll flip to Barkley at the 45. Adam Headman on the stick of D'Agostino. Anthony takes it across. Raiders have the man back, and they try to get it to Meacham coming out of the penalty box. Couldn't do it. Now it's Nightingale flipping ahead to Meacham as it goes back the other way. Here comes Big Meach. Takes it across, and the lost his edge. Try to flip it ahead, and the puck dumped by Ogdensburg back in the Messina zone. Ogdensburg has got Chuck Irvine out there. Puck comes to Cameron. Cameron to D'Agostino. Anthony takes it across right down the middle. Drops it back to Barkley, and he threw it away. Here comes Irvine, and they both skate for it, and they both overskate it. Now Irvine picks it up, looks to center, but Rabadou is there. Barkley thought his defensive partner was there, but he wasn't. Here comes Messina, power, takes it across. He gets knocked down, and the Devils try to move it ahead and dump it down the ice. 
And here comes Ogdensburg chasing it down. Here's a sharp angle shot right in front. But Cameron had his man tied up, and the puck goes in the corner. This power play hasn't been very powerful for Messina, and they're down to just 20 seconds left, and they throw it away again. Here comes Charlton in behind the net. He gets tied up in the corner, skates with it, looks to waste some time. Barkley flips it around. The boards comes right in front. Charlton turns it around. I'll tell you what, he didn't miss by much. Now, finally, Power picks it up, looks up ice, flips it into the zone. Here comes Rabadou after it, poke checked the way back to Power at the red line. Power has it knocked away, back in the Messina zone. Penalties elapsed, and we're down to about a minute left in the period. Barkley lifts it high in the air, bounces out to center ice, trickles in the Ogdensburg zone. Joe Ward racing for it, throws a check, but the puck gets away, and around the boards it goes. Ogdensburg moving it out to center ice, Travis Duran after it. Flips it ahead, right back out to center. Slack, he's upended. Puck dumped back in the Messina zone. In behind the net it goes. Durant with it. Flips it around the boards. And Shaver knocked that down with a high stick and they didn't call it. I can't believe that. Now the puck comes bouncing into the corner. Finally it comes to Ward. Now we got another penalty. Interference. Oh, Wonky, uh, Drew Wonky for interference. I'll tell you. Wasn't the puck there? I thought so. Uh, but I'll tell you, the Raiders do not want to go on any more power plays if they have a repeat of that last one. They uh, gave the puck away on that power play at least a half a dozen times. And uh, fortunately for them that the Blue Devils didn't score a shorthanded goal. Not one of their better uh, performances on the power play. And they looked so strong on the power play earlier in the game. Yes, they did. But they, they initially got right off the, off on the wrong side of the horse, made that first bad pass, and went downhill from there. Off the faceoff, puck in the zone, dumped right back down the ice for Messina. Trickles back with about 16 seconds to play. Here's Shaver with it. He flips it ahead to Wilson. Wilson to the Messina line. Here's a shot from the blue line. Zach makes the save. Wastes some time, then covers it up. And uh, I'll tell you what, David Beldock went into Zach after the whistle blow, and he was upended for his efforts, and uh, they're not going to call that one, I don't think. Augensburg bench a little upset, but uh, Zach didn't have the puck covered. He was trying to kill some more time on the clock. But Beldock, the whistle blew. Beldock went to the net and uh, arrived there about the same time Zach put his hand down, and the Raider defenseman took exception to him uh, going to the net and upended him, and no call. Off the faceoff, they bottle their way through. They got a man in front, score a goal with two seconds left in the period. Shaver. And it's all tied at three. And that's another power play goal. Uh, I'll tell you, we injected a lot of life into them. And, yeah. uh, the Raiders uh, started sagging and the Blue Devils coming on, coming on, coming on. And then uh, that penalty at the 1436 mark, Drew Wonky, they called him for interference. And uh, the Devils, uh, uh, you know, Looked like they're going to end the period 3-2. Shot the puck in, into the end, and Zach Long came out, and I, you know, I think he could have cleared the puck to the corner, and time would have ran out. But he elected to hold on to it. Got a face off with just a few seconds. It was probably, I think, there was four or five seconds in, in the period, and uh, off the draw, the Raider defenseman Shaver won the draw, knocked the puck uh, behind the uh, Raider center. Let him step around him. Shaver picked it up and walked right out in front and uh, backhanded one. He was right. going around him from about uh, 10 feet out, and he made uh, Zach made the first move as Zach started to go down, and he put it right between the legs. It was a nice shot. He had heads up, looking good. But again, those things shouldn't happen in uh, the dying seconds like that. But they do, and as we said before, will the greater coaching staff will earn their money in between uh, this uh, second and third intermission. Well, the Devils are back out of the ice. Here come the Red Raiders. A uh, couple of Division II semifinals going on uh, over at St. Lawrence Central at the end of one period. The Larrys are leading Norwood Norfolk to to nothing, but uh, the Flyers can come back. They showed that last night as they came back from a three to one deficit late in the game. Well, they've got a lot of firepower. Yeah, they club. do. They do. And over at uh, the Tom Cavanaugh Arena in Fort Covington, Salmon River and Thousand Islands are in the second period, and they are still scoreless. A Thousand Islands, the number six seed, I do believe. Uh, they could be a uh, Cinderella story. They're certainly uh, knocking off Alex Bay last night. That's a big upset, and they're looking for two in a row. And uh, if they can go into uh, Tom Cavanaugh Arena and uh, take care of the Shamrocks, uh, they'll, be doing something. they'll be doing something. You betcha. Well, both teams are out on the ice here. It's a 3-3 tie hockey game. The Raiders uh, will be defending the goal to our left to start the third period. And, of course, the Devils, the goal to our right. 
And uh, I'll tell you, we saw, saw lots of offense in that second period. We did, and uh, we said again at the top to show a couple of the keys the Raiders had to handle that Shaver, Garvey, and Boyer line. And uh, that line has got all three goals, yep. and all three of them on power play. So, uh, uh, you know, you, uh, when you're down a man, it's a little tougher to defend that club. But uh, we'll wait and see. 15 minutes, a good march, good clubs do come back, and the Devils are a good club. We said that uh, offensively they're one of the best clubs that uh, – in section 10 and maybe uh, maybe in the state. Uh, they uh, know how to put the puck in the net, but they ebb and flow. Uh, they look so good one minute, the next second, uh, they look like they hadn't. Uh, <laughs> of course, we could say the same thing for the team in red today. Yeah, we certainly could, that's that's for sure. Yeah. I guess the best thing to say is uh, these teams are pretty evenly matched. Yes, they, they are evenly matched. Uh, fine performance out here, both of them uh, giving everything they've got and right down here to the final 15 minutes, and as you said, it'll probably go down to the final seconds. Hazel coming out to take the face off against Aaron Charlton. Hazel out there with Meacham and Cameron, Nightingale and Barkley, Char Charlton with Jacobs and McCarthy, and on defense, Wilson and uh, Humel. Off the face off, here come the Devils to the Messina line, poked away, Meacham is there. Here's Meacham, shovels it across the blue line, can't catch up with it though, stays with it. Meacham trying to battle his way through. Now Hazel picks up the loose puck. Hazel, short side shot, save made. Chambers, he goes to Cameron and behind to Meacham. Meacham from behind the net tries to wrap it around, hit the side of the net, Cameron picks it up. Here's Cameron to Meacham in front, SCORE! And it's four to three, Messina, and Messina scores a goal in the first minute of the second period. Meacham gets the goal, but Cameron, what a great pass. Michael Cameron just prior to that, coming down the slot, calling for the puck. Matt Hazel tried to stuff it short side himself. Cameron was in the slot, but it went Went in the right corner, went back to the left corner. Cameron picked it up, circled out of the left corner, and found Meacham cruising right down the slot, put it on the tape, and I'll tell you, the big Meach unloaded a blast from about 35 feet out and beat Shaver up over the left shoulder. I guess you ask the question, how do you answer goal in the final minute? You score one in the first minute of the next period. Boy, I guess so. Great. Off the faceoff, Ward with it in the zone. He gets tied up, but... Uh, Kerwin's there, steps by the D, can't get the shot off, get knocked down, the puck back to the point, here's a drive, just wide, bouncing puck comes side of the net, and Boyer picks it up, that's Corey Boyer trying to move it out of the zone, and he does to the Messina line, bounces in the Messina zone, in behind the net, Zach will play it around the boards to Kerwin, Kerwin can't control it, but it's Tra Travis Durant who moves it ahead and down the ice. Kerwin gets hauled down again. That's the second time this shift that Kerwin's been hauled down, and that time it happened right in front of Mel, and he could not call it. You took the words right out of my mouth because the first time it happened down in the offensive end and negated a great scoring opportunity for, Ker for Kerwin, and I was just beside myself, and they didn't call that, but this one they did call. No it's question. Twice in the same shift, and uh, I wish they would have called the first one. It was more dangerous. But anyway, Raiders back in the power play. We've got power out there with Diagostino. And uh, who's the other forward? It's going to be Rabadou, Barkley, and Cameron drops back to play the point. So we've seen Cameron at the point before. Off the draw, it comes to Michael. Michael fakes the shot, shovels it in the corner, Diagostino. Back to Cameron, Michael skates to the middle, fakes the shot, he's got room, slides it right on, deflected, great save by Cha great save by Chambers. Back to the point, Cameron again. Cameron goes to Rabadou, right back to Cameron. Cameron winds up, he's got the shot, save made, rebound into the corner. That's Barkley in there, I'm sorry, I had the wrong guy in deep. Puck around the boards. Back to Cameron, Cameron. Goes to Rabadou, back to Cameron. Cameron skates, winds up another shot. Fired it wide. May have been deflected wide. Rabadou digs it out of the corner. Back to Cameron. Cameron at the point. Goes to Barkley on the side. Barkley's got room. Back to Cameron. He's got room. He shoots it. Save made, rebound. They battle at its side of the net. Goes in the corner. Devils try to control, but it's back to Cameron at the point. Fakes the shot, then flips it into the corner. He's trying to look for Barkley breaking for the net, but Adam didn't quite go in. Now goes to Power. Power to Diagostino. 30 seconds left in the power play. Rabadou back to Cameron at the point. Cameron skates, skates, winds up his shot high. I think somebody got a piece of it. Now Power digs it out, dumps it. Rabadou trying to wrap it around, hit the side of the mesh, and it's tied up in the mesh. We'll have a face off. I'll tell you, Michael, Cameron's arms have to be sore because he had at least a half a d dozen shots at net, and he and Matt Rabadou. On that left side, uh, the puck would come to Rabadou. He'd put it back to Cameron and back to Rabadou, and then the box shrank back to Cameron, and he stepped down from that blue line and was whistling some 
Oh, some blue darts in there. A uh, couple on the net. Uh, Chambers, great save. Couple deflected up over the top, and a couple just wide by three or four feet. But he had uh, he had the shots. I'll tell you, the Raiders controlled that power play. Meacham takes the face off. Still 15 seconds in it. It goes into the circle, and finally it's picked up by the Devils. They dump it down the ice, and it's back in the Messina zone. Zach is going to leave it for Barkley. Barkley goes by Shaver. Looks for Meacham. Here's Meacham, breaks out of the zone. Here's Meacham down the off wing, trying to barge his way through into the zone. He's knocked off the puck. It's picked up by the Devils. The Devil lost his edge. Kerwin picks it up, skates in front, can't get the shot off. It comes to Meacham. He backhands it, hit a leg, and the Devils will control and move it out to center ice. Penalties elapsed, by the way. Raiders control the power play, but couldn't get the goal. Now it's Charlton, has it knocked away by Kerwin. Kerwin gets knocked down again, and the headman goes to Shaver, can't catch it and it's trickled back to the Ogdensburg line, dumped back to the Messina line. Kellogg, he takes it across the red line. Raiders have to get back on side, and they did. But Ogdensburg controls, that's Jared Wells. Head man, center ice, Barkley's there, shovels it back in the zone. Raiders got on sides just barely, but Devils control the puck in the zone. Seacott comes after it, he can't come up with it. Shaver flips it ahead and out to center ice. Barkley knocks it down, picks it up at his own blue line, moves it ahead, Seacott. Seacott gets knocked down. The puck comes in. Shaver just deflects one at the net. Here's a chance in front. Short side shot as Zach was a little slow in getting in. And the whistle blows as the net got knocked off its pegs. And we'll have a face off in the Messina zone. Knocked off its pegs. Big number 21. Scott Boyer was driven into the net by a Raider defenseman. I think it was Adam Barkley knocked it off. That's why the face off will be inside uh, the uh, Raider zone to the left of Zach Long. 4 3 Messina. That go ahead goal. Coming early in the period, and we'll pick up the time. Off the faceoff, here's a shot from the point. Zach makes a save, puck goes in the corner. Flipped around the boards, will come to Diagostino. Here comes Anthony, moving it out of the zone. Headman on Seacott's stick, but it bounces away. Dumped back out again. Wonky picks it up. Dumps to an open wing. Nobody there but the Devils. He'll move it ahead. That's Jordan Spears, knocked away from him. Bounces high in the air. Farmer knocks it down. Devils control. Seacott knocks it down. Now Diagostino after it. He has it knocked away at the blue line. It's just across. Farmer battles for it, and it comes back out to center ice. As the Devils control, it's Beldock flipping it ahead, and it's Irvine in behind the net. Wonky picks it up and around the boards, Diagostino. Anthony trying to move it out. It's knocked away in front. They get a man free, short side shot, and he flipped it all the way back to the blue line and out to center ice. Good idea, but there was just nobody there to finish it off. As the Raiders got kind of caught leaving the zone early that time. Here comes Messina again. Seacott busts his way through, but it's knocked off his stick. And back the other way come the Devils into the Messina zone. Wonky's there to intercept the pass. Moves it ahead for Seacott. He tried to get some wood on it, didn't. Bouncing puck into the Ogdensburg line. Dumped right back down the ice, and icing will be called on OFA. 10.02 left, third period. Raiders lead at 4-3 on the A1 TV and Appliance scoreboard. You mentioned these two teams had played uh, twice before this season. The Blue Devils victorious down to Messina 2-1, and then uh, just last about three weeks ago on the 4th of February, we had a 4-4 tie here at the Golden Dome. And it's 4-3 Messina right now. Off the faceoff, Kerwin pokes it into the corner. Jacob Humel dumps it out to center ice, Nightingale. Flips it ahead, goes off Ward's skate. But Kerwin is there to flip it to the Ogdensburg line. Tries to poke it in the zone. Here comes Barkley with it. Barkley takes it in the zone. Trying to center it, goes off a leg. He's still with it, in behind the net. And we got the Devils breaking out of there. And they got a man breaking in front. Here's the shot, save made by Zach Long. And it was uh, Ron Jacobs. Here's another shot as Messina got caught with the Barkley pinching in, the oh. forward didn't go back the way he's supposed to. Raiders still don't clear the zone. Here's a shot, knocked down in front. They get a man free, but it's blocked. Raiders move it ahead. Out to center ice, here's Slack. He, oh, he just got railed. Great check there, thrown by big defenseman Corey Boyer. Nice check. And the puck comes bouncing to the blue line, but not out of the zone. Here's Meacham with it. Trying to drop it through, but it's knocked away. Comes to the Messina line. Picked up there by Nightingale. Knocked it out, knocked it in the zone. Meacham takes it back out again. Head man to Cameron. Cameron trying to drop to Meacham, knocked away. Comes to Travis Durant. He shovels it right back in the Ogdensburg zone. Raiders have to get on sides, they do. But it's picked up by Boyer. Boyer, head man, just gets out of the zone to Charlton. Here's Charlton dumping in the Messina zone. Around the horn it goes to Scott Boyer. Flips it ahead. 
out by the blue line. Meacham is there trying to move it out of the zone. Now Hazel follows up down the sideline to the Ogdensburg line. Bounces right in front of the benches and they dig for it there. Cameron picks up the puck. He'll shovel it in the Ogdensburg zone. Jared Wells with it, moves it out. Now Meacham carries it right back across, but he's taken out of the play. There'll be a pen. Oh, oh. Ogdensburg is going to pick up a penalty, Jared Wells, but. I like it. <laughs> oh, man. That's a makeup. That's a makeup. Oh. We mentioned uh, before how the Raider defenseman got caught down deep, and uh, a Raider forward finally did fill, Jerry, but again, he's a forward, not a defenseman. It was two on two, but both of them, the forward and the defenseman, went for the same guy. He slid it over to number three. Ron Jacobs walked right in, and Zach Long made a big save. Again, outlasted Jacobs. Jacobs finally tried to go low stick side. Zach got the big leg out there. Getting back to the penalty, that's one of those borderline calls, and that was about a 9.8 on the, uh, the dive. The dive. 9.8. Off the faceoff. Raiders on the power play. Cameron at the blue line. He'll flip it. Here's Rabadou. Skates in front and he fanned on the shot. Great opportunity. Couldn't pull the trigger though. And here comes Ogdensburg back the other way. Across the blue line. Here's the big drive. That bounced off a body in behind the net. But it's picked up by the Devils. They move it in front. Barkley. Here comes Barkley. Head man on Diagostino's stick. Takes it across. Stops. Flips it in the corner. And it's knocked off. The puck comes back to Barkley at the point. Barkley skates, goes in front. Rabadou fanned again. The shot, they follow on it. It's poked into the corner. Two opportunities for Matt Rabadou. He fanned on both of them. Excellent opportunities. Back to the point. Cameron winds up his shot. Ooh, nice save. Oh, great save. Back to the blue line. Cameron can't keep that one in. And it trickles to the Messina line. Big Michael picks it up from the red line. He'll take it across. He had it go off the end of his stick. Puck dumped out. Here comes a chance for Ogdensburg. They got a man breaking. And the short side shot is clear to the blue line. Kept in at the point. Great opportunity, great break for Messina though, as uh, Chuck Irvine had an excellent opportunity. Now the penalty with 20 seconds left. Here they come again. Corey Boyer drives one wide. Puck whistles all the way back to the blue line and out to center ice. And back in again. I think offsides will be the call. Matt Rabadou, he's a fine-looking sophomore, uh, but he has problems finishing the play. And I tell you, he had two excellent opportunities on the power play, uh, both no more than 8 and 10 feet out in front of goaltender Chambers, no one around. And he just simply fans on the puck. He, I don't know if he takes his eye off or what. You're supposed to be looking, but you have to feel the puck on your stick. Well, Matt hasn't got, gotten around that yet. He just simply fan like you <laughs> swing a baseball bat and miss. Here comes Ogdensburg again. They are busting through and get the shot off. It bounces in behind. They center it, hits the back of the net. Wonky with it, knocked around the boards. Charlton makes the move, hit the back of the net again. But this time Wonky picks up the loose puck. He'll skate it ahead. Out the center ice. The penalties elapsed. Meacham, here comes the big Meach after it. Takes it in the corner, looks to move it around. Centers it, hit the side of the net with it. He'll go to Hazel. Hazel trying to go to Meacham. It'll go back to the point and it's out to center ice. Ron Jacobs moves it ahead, gets it back again, skates it across, it bounces in front. Here's a shot Charlton, bounces off a leg out to center ice. Back to pick it up is Schumel. He'll go on the other side to Wilson, dumps it back in the Messina zone. Wonky is there to pick it up. Moves it ahead off the boards and down the ice. That'll be an icing call against the Raiders. 6.05 left in the third period. Raiders holding on to a 4-3 lead on the uh, A1 TV and appliance scoreboard. Now again, uh, we've said this many times, we're at that stage of the game that you <laughs> think defense right now, up 4-3. Uh, you know, again, not getting three guys caught down low uh, be below the dots, even below the top of the circle, I wouldn't want to get three guys down. And again, good solid position in your own end. Face off in the Messina end. Farmer wins the draw to Barkley. He takes it behind the net. He'll go on the wing to Diagostino. Anthony moves it down the wing. Here's Diagostino. Trying to shovel it across. Just got it in. Knocked back out again. Comes to Nightingale. Nightingale. Head man of Barkley. Barkley dumps it. That's, That's what, what you want. want to do. In deep. In deep. Here comes Diagostino. Gets tied up. Trying to go to Seacott. He centers it. Farmer can't get a stick on it. Cleared along the boards. Kept in by Farmer. Now Seacott after it. Here's Seacott. Just flips it over to Diagostino. But it's picked up there by the Ogdensburg defense. They move it to the blue line. Nightingale shoots straight on. Oh, great save on a Seacott deflection. Oh, boy, Chambers made a dandy right there. I, he made a good save, but I'm not sure he saw it. Jerry, it's got a little bit of luck on it. A shot from the point. Uh, Eric Seacott cruising in front with a 
Augensburg defenseman all over him. He redirected it through the legs, and uh, Chambers made a great save. And the rebound, he couldn't control it initially if there would have been a red shirt around there to pop on that thing, but he had time to recover, jump out, and uh, hold for a faceoff. But, ooh, that was close. Off the faceoff. Here come the Devils moving out to center ice. It's Garvey. Garvey's head man to Boyer. Here's Boyer. Centering pass in front. Garvey gets a backhander off, but pretty well tied up by Wonky. Didn't get much on it. Here's Ward now, bangs it, doesn't clear the zone. Here's a shot from the point, save made, puck in front, bounced up over the net. Goes into the glass in behind. Wonky throws a check. The puck's still there, Wonky now kicks it aside, moves it around the boards for Kerwin. Kerwin clears it ahead to Ward, he moves it out to center ice. Ouch, that hit the official. Here comes Kerwin, skates in, winds up, shot, hit the goal post. Oh, how'd that stay out? He had the, uh, it looked like it might have been close to in, but no. Hit the goal post and the crossbar, I think, both. Here's a so shot good. from the point. Save made, puck in the corner, Ward with it. Rips it around for Slack. Slack in front, Kerwin, and he fanned on it. Oh, man. And here come the Devils out the center ice. Puck poke checked away, comes to Slack. Slack has it knocked away, gets it back again, knocked away again. Hard check thrown by Wonky at the blue line. Shaver trying to bust his way by. They both go down. Wonky gets back up, trying to shovel it ahead, doesn't clear the zone. It moves along the boards. Ward after it, it's underneath Wonky. The puck finally comes out, but uh, in the meantime, the whistle had blown. And we'll have a face off with 4.13 left in the period. 4-3, Raiders clinging to a one goal lead here on the A1 TV and Appliance scoreboard. First at one end, uh, the, the Raiders give it away and the Bears, or the Blue Devils from about 30 feet out drive one and uh, Drew Wonky got a stick and deflected over the top of the net. It comes back the other way. Clint Kerwood coming down that left side. He cranked one up, and I agree with you. I think it hit the crossbar and, and the post and uh, and stayed out. But uh, that was just an eyelash. Uh, and uh, Drew Wonky, he's got to keep that stick down when he's checking out there. Yeah, that's right, because here's the puck in front. Bounces to the blue line out to center ice. Meacham after it. Meacham, and the puck gets away from him, comes into the Messina zone. Nightingale throws it out to center ice by everybody. That'll be icing on Messina, and the faceoff will move back in the Raiders' zone. 3.58 left in the third period, 4-3 Messina. 3.58, every faceoff mm. is important, but it even magnifies when you get down in the last few minutes, and the Raiders haven't done well on the faceoff tonight, especially they're letting the, uh, the opposing center slide. Uh, and that last big Augensburg uh, rush, they came out of their own end. The center walked right through his man and started the play, and they just can't have it. You, you got to impede him. If you lose a draw, don't let him slide. Charlton against Hazel. Puck comes back to the blue line. Kept in, they flip it in the corner. Meacham after it, he'll shovel it around the boards. Stepping in front, Irvine. Irvine centers it, knocked away. Comes to Cameron, he'll move it out. Cameron, knocked away from him. Right back comes Ogdensburg. Barkley throws a check. The puck comes to Hazel, back checking. He flips it around the boards. Stopped by the Blue Devils. They hit the side of the net with it. Here's Hazel. Cameron, Cameron can't get it out of the zone. Goes in the corner. They got a man in front. Here's the shot wide. Puck bounces in front again, Barkley. Barkley, this time off the glass and down the ice. They wave the icing off, and somebody must have touched it on the way through. And the puck goes in the Ogdensburg zone, all the way around the horn to Hazel. Hazel to Meacham. Meacham flips to Cameron behind the net. Michael with a puck, lost in his skate, gets it back again. There's Cameron, circles in front to Meacham, and it's intercepted. Good idea. They're tired, Jerry, need a change. And the puck comes to Cameron. Both teams need a change, I think. Cameron dumps it. Here comes Ogdensburg, it's Corey Boyer. Hazel throws a check. Who's got the puck? Power with it, he dumps it right on, and Chambers blocks it and flips it ahead. That was a chancy play right there that he made. Puck along the boards, Rabadou with it, up in the glass, whacks at it, comes bouncing to the blue line out to center ice. Here comes Beldock, flips into the Messina zone, right back out again, power. Trying to move it ahead, out of the net, Chambers. He flips it ahead, not out of the zone. Here's a shot, knocked down in front, and it bounces side of the net to the blue line. Here's a shot from the point, goes into the corner, back into the circle, power with it, winds up, fired it, didn't miss by much. Comes back to the other point, and out to center ice. Into the Messina zone, Charlton shot. He fired it wide. Puck rips around to Garvey on the other side, check thrown there. Wonky picks up the puck. Rips it around the board. Stepping in front of Shaver. Here's Shaver, cross ice pass, meant for Garvey. Puck comes side of the net. Raiders bounce it. It's going to bounce to the blue line and out to center ice. 150 left in the third period. Devils dump it in the zone. 
and bounces. I think there's an offsides call on the play. Got to shorten those shifts out there, especially mm. in the nine minutes, and uh, the Raiders are still, the forwards are staying out there too long. They're tired, shorten the shifts, get them, to, get them on, get them off out there. We're down to 145, and again, let's not get uh, the Blue Devils going to call a timeout right here. Faceoff moves back in their zone. They called an intentional off. Dump it in unless you've got a definite uh, two-on-one or three-on-two advantage, but just dump it in, get it in deep, send one man in there. Think defense, defense, defense. Good position, the wings. The defense are going to run it hard. They're not going to take any chances coming up the middle. They're going to run it on the board. So you got to be in position. Redirect, tip the puck by that defenseman. You know he's going to dive down there. And if he does dive and you don't tip it, just grab him, hold him, pin him to the board so that he doesn't continue on down through. Through 4-3 to three our score. Messina leads with 145 left in the third period. Excellent crowd here tonight as we look across the way here at the beautiful Golden Dome. You know, this is just a great place to play a hockey game, a great place to call it, and uh, fans are really being treated to an uh, exciting game. And I don't see too many empty seats over there, Jerry. And there's no. a lot of people all the way around the rink on that far side. Good crowd, really good crowd. Probably the best crowd we've seen this year. Joe Ward out there to take the draw against Shaver. Off the faceoff, Shaver tries to battle through. Kerwin steps in front, has it knocked away. A bouncing puck kept in by Kerwin. He flips it right on, and Shaver, or Shaver, Chambers has to make the save. Puck comes in behind the net, and it's flipped around the boards, and the Devils move it out to center ice. Here's a chance, and a two-on-one. Shaver poke checked away at the last second. Ward picks it up, dumps it, doesn't clear the zone. Oh, man. Here's Barkley. Flips it around the board, stepping in front. Here's a shot right across the goal mouth. Comes to Kerwin. Kerwin moves it, doesn't clear the zone again. Puck bounces in the corner. In behind the net, in front, they got a man free, and it's right on. Zach's going to cover up and hold on for the faceoff. Now some pushing and shoving in front of the net. Again, you can't give an odd man rush, Jerry, oh, at this man. stage, and they gave a two-on-one here. A era. grievous error, yeah, you okay. I mean, it's because they're thinking offense, they've got to mm. think a little more defense here. All three forwards in down low, we got a huge faceoff, and you know they're going to pull the goaltender here with uh, with 101. 101 uh, left in the period. Maybe they'll wait a few more seconds, but uh, I don't, he doesn't want to wait too long. But Raiders putting out the Meacham, Cameron, Hazel line with Barkley and Wonky on defense. You know, he, this is the last, uh, last gasp for the Blue Devils and for the Raiders also. Cannot, got to win this draw. Face off Shaver against Hazel. Off the draw, Devils win it back to the point. Here's a drive, it's blocked. Goes into the corner, Shaver centers it, goes right across the goal mouth. After it meets him, he gets hauled down on a, but well, they're not going to call anything unless it's bad. To the blue line, shot knocked down in front. Clear to the blue line, out to center ice. They wanted to get the goalie out. Now they dump it back in the Messina zone, delay off sides. Meacham comes up with a puck, lifts it down the ice at the empty nets, icing the call on Messina. Oh, boy, uh, boy, oh boy, why did he do that? I don't know why he was trying to, I think, go to the empty net. Oh. Uh, all the coaching staff wanted him to do was bank it off the boards, get it out to the neutral zone, but he was going for the score. He saw the empty net, but, uh, and the Blue Devils won the last draw. Matt Hazel has got to, Got to prevent number eight. To... Okay, off the faceoff. This time, Barkley's got it. Barkley looks down the ice. That'll be another icing call on Messina. Boy, I don't know, David. Well, uh, I guess that's the uh, lesser of two evils. They're not sure that they can clear the zone, right. so they're, uh, they're we'll willing take to take the, the faceoff. Yeah. yeah, that one wasn't uh, as bad. I think he was just uh, under enough Had nowhere to go. Had, or now Messina the other time had an opportunity to go on the boards. Now we're going to still have Hazel take the face off against Shaver. Hazel and Shaver, and uh, they're one and one on these one two. One and one. Now Messina's going to call a timeout, I believe. Yep. Want to get all their ducks in a row, make sure everyone knows what their defensive responsibility is. 29 seconds, 29 big ticks left in this hockey game, and I'll tell you. <laughs> I'm uh, so excited I'm dropping my, uh, my lineup card here. <laughs> as long as you don't. I had a uh, cameraman, Tim Hong Jr., had to get it for me. I hate to see what that picture's going to be like. 
<laughs> 29 seconds left in the third period. Raiders lead 4-3. Face off in the Messina zone. And the winner of this game tonight advances to the sectional championship Thursday night at Shield Arena to take on the Canton Golden Bears. And again, regardless of what you've done in the past against the club, you've got your, you strive and you strive to win that championship, get to the state, and you got to do it one step at a time. And uh, you know, these teams, all these clubs in this division are evenly matched. Anyone could win it, but you got to get out of here first. And the Raiders hanging on by a by a thread, I'll tell you. A fingernail. A fingernail, I don't know, half a fingernail. But Matt Hazel, if he ever wins one, this is one he... He won the last one. Shaver won the first one. He won the last one. Let's see who wins this one. Ready to drop the puck. Hazel, it sits in the circle. Flipped in behind the net. Nobody won that one. Barkley pinches it around the boards and out to center ice, and somebody touched it. Puck comes back in the Ogdensburg zone as they move it ahead. Stolen by Cameron. Cameron takes a shot at the empty net, fanned on it. Takes a shot to Meacham. Shot score! Eric Meacham, empty net goal! And the Raiders go ahead 5-3. to three. And you got to give Michael Cameron Michael credit that time. Michael Cameron again. He kept it in the zone. Had a couple of shots at it himself, but he couldn't. But he wasn't being deterred. He finally found it at his feet. He threw it across to Big 22. And the Meach from the dot on the right side threw a couple of Blue Devils frantically trying to get to the net. But he buried one. And the Raiders are going to take on the Golden Bears at Shield Arena on Thursday night. So Messina goes ahead 5-3 to three in the empty net goal. Shaver still out there to take the face off against Farmer with 10 seconds left in the third period. And we're waiting for everybody to get out and off and the puck drops, comes to the Messina line, Drew Wonky. Wonky flips it ahead to Cameron, just moves it out across the blue line. Dump back, bounces around. Hazel with the buzzer sounds and the Raiders win the one that counts as they win it five to three over Ogdensburg and Messina will head to the championship against the Canton Golden Bears. Not a lot of rest in between games, but uh, they're gonna savor this one at least for a day. Uh, they don't care if they had uh, 24 hours or 24 minutes. It's just that opportunity to get there and play.